This is the motion cockpit. It sits on three actuators that can move up and down independently. There are two rear actuators and one front actuator. A DC motor drives a V-belt that is attached to the platform. The three DC motors are driven by power servo electronics. The Flight Sim PC runs Ian's motion software that reads the accelerations from Flight Simulator. The setup program allows you to adjust almost all motion parameters and the final motion output is shown via three bars at the bottom. The Flight Sim PC then sends the data to a motion PC that controls DA converters via its parallel port. The DA converters then drive the three power servos. The power to the servos is delivered by three 12 volt batteries. During flight the platform moves in such a way that it mimics the forces that the pilot experiences. When starting the flight the data is received on the motion PC. At full power the acceleration will tilt the platform backwards. Here you can see some sideways motion when steering on the runway. Here is the heave cue at lift off. there will be some roll motion that washes out back to center. For this flight I've selected weather with some turbulence that gives you some nice heave effects. When throttling down the platform moves forward to mimic deceleration. Are you ready for touchdown? Here you can see the fast deceleration when braking. 